a post-Soviet crippling economy and violent political crackdowns in Cuba in the early 1990s led to a dramatic increment in the number of Cuban rafters using flimsy sea vessels or improvised watercrafts to leave the island for the United States. Some rafters were lucky enough to make it to land, referencing the US wet foot dry foot policy, which granted them the automatic right to stay in the US and apply for residency a year later. Many weren't so lucky. One of these was 15-year-old Gregorio Perez Ricardo, who died after a severe dehydration spell. The death of the adolescent inspired a number of pilots and activists in South Florida, not all of which were born in Cuba, to come together and form Brothers to the Rescue. The organization, which describes itself as a humanitarian nonprofit, made it its mission to fly small Cessna planes over the Florida Straits in search of Cuban rafters and ultimately bringing them to safety. The Brothers to the Rescue recount that they conducted over 2,400 aerial search missions, which resulted in the rescue of more than 4,200 Cubans, from infants to elderly individuals, especially during the refugee crisis of 1994. The pilots would drop food and water to the rafters, as well as guide them to land. But tragedy would strike the organization on February 24th, 1996. On that day, Armando Alejandre, Carlos Costa, and Mario de la Peña, all American citizens, and Pablo Morales, a Cuban-born American resident, carried out a mission over the international waters near Havana when their plane was shot down upon orders from the Cuban government. Their mission that day was to drop leaflets with pro-freedom messages, which were then to be carried by wind currents and ultimately dropped off over the streets of Havana for citizens to see. But the plans were interrupted when Cuban MIGs attacked them in international airspace. All four pilots died on the spot. The news rippled through Miami and South Florida, drawing devastation throughout the Cuban-American exile community. News of the incident echoed throughout the rest of the U.S. and the world. President Bill Clinton even went on to say that the shooting of civilian aircraft out of the air was a flagrant violation of international law. It is wrong, he said, and the United States will not tolerate it. President Clinton signed the helms burden Law, which codified into law the U.S. embargo of Cuba. After the death of the four pilots from Brothers to the Rescue, their legacy would live on in the South Florida Cuban-American community. Relatives and fellow activists would also undertake a mission to try and bring the Cuban regime to justice by taking them to court, a battle that is still underway.